B.A., congratulations into a grand final. Oh. Must feel great. Yeah, it's good. I'm um, really happy for the boys. Um, made a lot of sacrifices along the way. You know, Mitchell Moses made a massive sacrifice for his teammates today. Well, over the last couple of days, you know, he didn't get to see the birth of his daughter. That's huge, and it just shows you. You know, I said, well, anyway, you can see the last 10 minutes how we defended and kept turning up for each other. The boys really wanted it. Um, we got a lot of players here that, yeah, they might be leaving to go to other clubs, but they've been a big part of what we've done. And our boys want to make sure that they they cherish every last day that they got with each other. What does it say about this? The character of the side, as you're saying, that the, the, the scramble to turn up there under so much pressure in a hostile environment. It's just we wanted it real bad, and you can see that. Um, I've seen it in their eyes, you know, since the Bulldogs game, which was round 22 or whatever. Um, they they did it, not me. They got together and had some real honest conversations about turning up every week, regardless of how they feel. And that was the mentality we took when we got up here. You know, we just get on a plane, go up there. I don't care how you feel, just go and get the job done. And um, that's what we did. What do you say when you under looked at the start? There was a horrible completion rate. You, yeah, well, you know what, I felt like they're a very good team and they've, they've played really well all year, but I felt like we were in control. Um, we, you know, we probably lost every stat going, but except the line breaks there. And um felt like they were looking a little bit tired and out on their feet. If we, we knew if we could just get fair possession and field position, that we'd finish over the top of them. What about your ability, Brad, your team, to come up with big players in big games? I mean, what got to see that. Sometimes you, you won't, didn't look like it, but then... Oh, you that's just it's want desire. Yeah, yeah no, they've got great skill level to be able to come up with that, but it's it's want desire. The effort was was there. Uh, last time we played the Cowboys in Darwin, they outcompeted us and they beat us on effort, and um, we weren't getting beat on effort tonight. Gotho, take us through that back end. Like you just you just kept turning up. Yeah, that's what we had to do. We knew it was going to go down to the 80th minute, and uh, Michael put one over the sideline, and um, with two minutes to go, they just were shift to shift, and we just had to stay in it and keep turning up and just wanting to win it and uh, Laney caught that ball at the end and dual charged it down and uh, that's what we need to do. You said last week nothing will break you, you said it again out in the field tonight. There's almost that siege mentality sort of developing at Parramatta isn't there? Well yeah, not, not many people gave us a chance coming up here and um, we, we just got to believe in what we want to do as a team and as a squad and uh, the whole squad's got us here, the whole coaching staff's got us here and um, we've got one job to do, you know, we've got to get back home and Start worrying about next week. You go all the way though, can't you? Why do you think you can go all the way? Well, we're there, giving ourselves a chance. You've got to be in it to win it, so that's it. Have you been able to put it into words yet? Like, can you fathom what you've just done out there? Is it a bit hard to comprehend? No, yeah, we did exactly what we came here to do. We come here to win and uh, we had to win. That's what we did. What about the process of Mitch Moses deciding to come and play for his team? How did that all play out? Well, it was never really a process or a thought for him. You know, like we got on the plane yesterday, um, Bree was was close the other day and you know I spoke to him today and I said mate we'll send you home but he just you know look it's it's hard I don't want to be rude um because his birth of his new daughter is so important to him and his family but um the other part of his family is is, is his mates um and you know like at least we made sure that it was worth it the sacrifice he made about it around his family was worth it so were you a bit relieved involved? when did you have a baby was today as in this afternoon, like beforehand? Oh, I'm not sure exact right. time, but yeah. Oh, it's just a big thing to go into a game knowing you've yeah. just had a child, that's all. Yeah. yeah. What, what are you, Brad? Right? You're almost smiling. It must be great <laughs> satisfaction. <laughs> well, so you've been under all sorts of well, pressure every week. Uh, talk about your future, but here you are now into a grand final. Well, I haven't been worried about my future because I knew that the, the boys had me back. Um, and you know what, look, we, we need to be excited about the opportunity that we've got and the occasion that's going to be during the week and we need to enjoy it. I've got no idea how to handle it because I haven't been there before, but we're just going to take it a day at a time. And then we, when we get there, we're going to go and have a real crack at that 80 minutes and hopefully I've got a smile on my face at the end of the game, mate. How do you make up that difference, Brad? Because no matter who you play <coughs> tomorrow, they're going to have, next week, they're going to have significant grand final experience on you guys in Penrith and South. So how do you bridge that gap? We didn't have any experience today in the prelim, and we've done all right, so we've just got to make sure. I know we've got a footy team in there. If we go in front, lay our effort, and they play for each other, I think our footy's good, and it's good enough to win. Yeah, what, what, is this, what does getting to the grand final mean for your fans? There are fans all over Parramatta out tonight watching it in pubs and, and all over the place. What, is, yeah, what does well, it mean going that extra? That yeah, look, it's, I know they've been waiting a while, um, and 
Um, it's a reward for them, in, you know, and supporting our team. Um, but we still we still got 80 minutes of a lifetime. You know, it's a it's a real opportunity for us next week, and that's all we're worrying about at the moment. You concerned about Polo missing potentially the grand final? Nah, the tackle's fine. You'll be right. All right, thanks. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you.